Hi, I'm Tegan from Scribner Auction in Wainwright, Alberta. We've been in business for over 20 years. No two days are the same in the auction industry. We are always meeting new people, going new places, and seeing interesting things. Let me bring you along for the adventure, excitement, and always entertaining world that is Scribner Auction. Hey everybody, so this week we had our 16th annual Antique and Collector Auction. Take a look at this video and see the setup, the interviews, and the auction. So I want to introduce you to Michael. Michael has come in today and he's brought something really cool. What did you bring? I brought a unique old Coke bottle that still has Coke with the original Coke, we think. Still capped, original mm -hmm. Coke. Where did you find this? In Southern Alberta. In Southern in Alberta. In shop. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, how long have you been collecting for? 35 plus years I've been buying and selling and collecting. And have you ever seen a Coke bottle with the, the liquid still in it? Never. Never? This, I've never not, seen this. Not of that age. No, because the blue, that's that's the really old bottles when you see the blue bottle. Um, underneath it still has the Coke on there. That is super cool. The bottle is circa 1910. 1910, yeah, that's an old or, bottle. Or between 1910 and 1920s. Yeah, so what made you bring it to us? Because I know you get good prices for empty ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for bringing this. I can't wait to see what it sells for. It is two weeks before the antique auction. As you can see, the building is empty right after the auto auction, actually, so that's pretty impressive. There isn't much left here for pickups, but yeah, she's empty and a load is coming in very shortly. Okay, so the Model T just got here. This is for the antique auction and this thing is super cool. Let's take a look. That is so cool. Take a look at this Model T. Our consigner says he thinks it's from 1917. I'm gonna do some research on it. But he says that he's had it in his shed for about 36 years and before that he got it at an auction from another guy who had it in his shed for about 36 years. So I think that this is going to be an excellent restoration project for somebody. Check out this little guy that came in today. Oh my goodness. What? He is cute. Okay. Check your song. And what's his name? Oh, so sweet. <laughs> it is the Saturday before the auction, and as you can see, we have a lot to do. We have a ton of boxes that we still have to open. So today the plan is to discover, make groups, get it all figured out, because we got a catalog, picture, and upload the entire auction on online, and be ready for next Saturday.
cool. I've seen a lot of irons, but I don't think I've ever seen one like this. Really cute. Okay, so all of the boxes are unpacked. Now it's time to make groups. Watch as the magic unfolds. Well, the groups are made and we're starting to put out some of the furniture, but it's definitely coming together now. Take a look. Still quite a bit more to do, but I'm looking or I'm feeling optimistic anyways. I think we're going to be pretty well set up by the end of the day. So, here's hoping. Okay, so it is the Monday before the auction. We're just pulling out the Model T. We have a little bit more stuff to bring in the room and then we should be done our setup so then we can list, picture, put it up online. Keep watching guys, I'm gonna show you a little bit more around later. We take the Model T out every day and night just so that it's, you know, visible for people to drive past and it's a little bit in our way while we're doing our setup but it's gonna look really good in the pavilion on auction day. Almost done the pre-dotting part of the listing, but we have to have all of the items in. So we're just bringing the Model T in. Maybe for the last time, might have to move it a couple more times. We even have a jukebox, just like Fonzie used to use. Don't forget, Friday night we're having the coin and currency auction. So it's the morning before the antique auction. We're not quite open yet. Um, we're gonna be letting the people in at nine o'clock. The auction starts at 11. 
So the building's all ready. We had the coin auction last night. That went super, super well. Coin auctions usually do. Um, let's take a look at some of the items that I'm actually just really curious to don't sell for, and then you'll probably get to see them sell. And then uh, I actually think I can have some interviews after the sale with some of the buyers and with the consigners. The Ford Model T, really cool, super old, 1917 is what we dated it to. Can't wait to see what this is going to do. Super cool, this thing is basically ready to run, it just needs a little bit of love and restoration and it'll be super, super awesome. The general store, we have jewelry. Now, do you remember the blue Coke bottle from the beginning of this video? I'm really excited to see what this does. Completely unopened with fluid or Coke still in it, so that's really cool. Coins and currency, even for today. Just amazing collections. There's dairy, there's confectioner tins, there's cheese, blue ribbon, just incredible. You guys remember the jukebox? It's been playing this week. It was featured on Alex's video. Curious to see what that's gonna do. Well, only two more hours and we get going. See you then. Okay, so I have Larry here with me. He is going to be buying some stuff at the antique auction, hopefully. What are you thinking you're gonna try and pick up today? Oh, I like the paper jar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a couple things at the back. Uh, yeah, not gonna tell me though yet, I'm otherwise I'll get you in some trouble. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now, Larry, how long have you been coming to our sales for? Ten years. About ten years? Oh, that's pretty neat. You've been coming for a long time. I have. And do you like coming to our sales? I do. Yeah. Um, now, you also buy coins, so did you do pretty good last night, you think? I didn't get the ones I was, had picked out. No? Yeah, they, they went, went for a good price. Yeah, yeah, it was a really good coin auction. It was a good sale. Yeah. Good stuff. Huh? Yeah. So I'm going to catch you after the sale because I want to find out what you did get and we'll talk a little bit more about that, okay? Okay, sure. Hey, thank you. Sure. And uh, talk about a rare opportunity to get a Seabird 100. Go for it. All right, guys, here we are. We got a Seabird 100 and we got a lot of people down the dollar on it, but it's running. It's working. It's swinging right along there, guys. There we go. There now we got a lot of people down the dollar.
little soft in the spot. Yeah. Jewelry, I thought, was cheap. Yeah, because you got a ton of that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Now, all right, what are you going to do with it? Uh, I was just going to give it all to the nieces and uh, whoever. So, gifts, gift, like basically. That. What's that? Gifts. Yeah, yeah. Oh, or just cool. come over. Yeah, that's really nice. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what is something that you came for and you got? I'd have to go look at my truck again. <laughs> yeah, he's got quite the load, actually. I really love those ink guys. Yeah, those are really My daughter's a teacher, so... Okay. Yeah, great option. Thank you. The only person I know that can talk to four hours before stopping is my wife. <laughs> I hope she watches this later. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope to catch you at the next one. Yeah. Coin and antique. Okay, so you guys might remember Mike from earlier in the video. He brought in the Coke bottle. Mike, how do you feel about how it sold? Oh, I'm happy with it. Yeah? Yeah. So it's after the auctions, and now I don't know if I've introduced you guys to Brenda. This is Brenda. She has been working for us for quite a while, and she runs the concession here. Now, Brenda is also a bit of a buyer because if you work at the auction, you just can't help it. Brenda, what did you get the past two days? Well, I got some uh, U.S. bills and some Canadian currency last night. Yeah. And then today I got some uh, jewelry and necklaces and rings. And, oh, yeah. that's exciting. What are you planning on doing with the jewelry? I have two granddaughters that are going to get... Spoiled, hey? Oh, yeah, just a little bit. Oh, well, that's excellent. Now, how long have you been working for the auction? Oh, shoot. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. See, 2012? I, I, uh, yeah, 2012. 20. Yeah, since 2012. Since yeah, 2012. okay. Yeah. Oh, well, that's like, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> we are obviously so. happy to have you. Do you like doing this? Oh, yeah. yeah. I love the auction. What's your favorite sale that we have? I like the antique buyers. Yeah. They're my favorite. Yeah. You know, a lot of them are my age, so we can relate. <laughs> <laughs> you know what some of the stuff is in the room. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't afford some of it. Oh, but, I know, you know that too. Yeah. <laughs> like that car. I wanted that I car. I know. That car was yeah, awesome. I'm not going to get that car. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Well, I think it's actually going to a really good home and it's going to get restored and all that. So if you guys keep watching, I probably will have a video and some pictures somewhere along the line of that Ford Model T being completely restored. That beauty right there. Brenda, thank you for letting me interview you. And you'll be seeing lots of Brenda in the next couple of years anyways. I'm hoping to be hanging around. <laughs> oh, you will be. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, I'll probably see you guys and it's, uh, it's a great place to work. Yeah, it sure is. Bye-bye. Yeah. When the noise dies down and the crowd goes home and all of the items cross the auction block, it's time for us to shut down the building and get out of here. Until the next one, thank you for joining our 60th annual Antique and Collector Auction. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like the video below and subscribe. Check back with us next week because we're heading to Green Street, Saskatchewan for the Ian McKenzie Estate Collector and Farm Auction. That one is going to be incredible. Now, I have a question to end off the video with. What do you collect, if anything? If you collect something, leave me a comment down below.